So we finally get our first romance of this anime season, Gekon Shoujo Nozaki-kun. Now, I like this episode. It is right up my alley for slice of life, drama, romance, and shoujo. So if anyone's a fan of shoujo manga or shoujo anime, you'll probably already see something with this that you already like. It's very adorable, very cute, and the animation of this entire episode is really cute for a shoujo. And so if you're a romance fan like I am, you'll definitely love this episode. So right off the bat, what's our main characters? Nozaki is a manga artist. It's like a different take to like Bakuman. For instance, Bakuman was based Based on uh, the main characters writing a shonen manga. Well, in this sense, we have the main male character writing a shoujo manga, and you have this girl right at the beginning of the episode wanting to make a confession to him and just, you know, try to go out with him. But the funny thing is, is that she accidentally says, oh, I'm your fan, I, I'm your fan and all that, and all of a sudden he writes her an autograph and gives it to her. She messes up the line that she wants to go out with him. And so I'm like, oh my god, that's funny as hell. The inner monologue and thoughts of this girl, Sakura, is cute. Because the way she's speaking her mind, the way she moves around her mind, gets all depressed, gets happy and stuff. It's just, it's so funny. It's really engaging, and you love that about a character, and that's something I like about this, because I haven't seen a lot of those different aspects recently in, you know, like, I guess, romance anime for the past two seasons, so getting to see something like that was funny, and this series does have a lot of comedy, so if you like comedy, you will definitely like this episode. Now, the funny thing is, it seems like our main male character is rather dense, like a dense main male character. He doesn't realize that the girl that's currently helping him draw his manga and at the same time sticking around him has a crush on him he, she even asked her dating advice pretty much and you know he gave her advice even though she was asking it about him he's like why would you date a guy that's kind of like that even though she was describing him and so as we can see our main male character is technically the typical shoujo romance main male character he's dense doesn't realize the girl's crushing on him but hopefully he might change over time now, the main thing that makes this series a catcher and makes you want to continue watching it is because of the situation with him writing a shoujo manga in the middle of high school and at the same time this girl is trying to figure out how she confessed to him and she's helping him draw manga. So, it's good. I like the entire, I guess, setting of the plot. The plot is interesting and it's enough to keep me interested instead of just a standard romance. And so, I guess it can really spice up the romances we'll probably see this anime season. Now, overall, I would recommend this. The music... Oh, man, I love that music, especially the opening song. That opening song is good. It's really, really good. I mean, it reminds me of, like, soul rock or soul rock music or something. That's exactly what that music in the opening song of this series reminds me of. And I haven't heard a lot of songs like that in anime, so it was really unique. It was a unique song, and it definitely captured my interest with the series when I saw that. Overall, I recommend this completely if you're a big fan of romance and if you're itching for something to fill that, you know, heart you lost when you pretty much saw One Week Friends in and all that, so you'll definitely like this. So anyways, everybody, tell me your thoughts about the series if you've already watched it. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What do you feel about this romance? Do you feel like this romance might lead into something really good? Do you feel like this romance is just set to fail? Let me know in the comments below. I love all of you so much. Please have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Chibi out.